From Vienna, the city that was named after a schnitzel, welcome to Socks Talk Politics. Our guest today, Gilles Perrault, Deputy Mayor for Children and Food in Moinsartou. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome to Socks Talk Politics. We've got a great show for you tonight. Our topic is food. Howdy, Brian. Uh, uh, howdy, kid. Say, that's a mighty fine potato you got there. You know, in my professional opinion, that is a French fry potato. In, uh, I can't even believe I'm going to ask this. Your professional opinion? I have decided to become a French fry farmer. A French fry farmer. A French fry farmer. You know, being in nature, farming the fries, chilling in the sun. I don't even know where to start with this. French fry farming? Look, kid, you are aware that the life of a farmer is full of hard work. Planting, harvesting, raising animals, with no time for chilling in the sun. They've got machines for all that stuff. Kid, you've got a lot to learn about what it takes to be a farmer today. And I've got just the thing for you. Since 2012, children of the municipality of moinsot have been eating school lunches made with 100% organic ingredients coming mostly from a farm owned by the municipality. That's not only good for health and ecological reasons, but also for their education. The project raises the children's awareness on where their food comes from and how it is produced. But let's ask our guest to tell us more about it. Please welcome Gilles Perrault, Deputy Mayor of Moin Sartu. Welcome, Monsieur Perrault. We are so happy to have you here tonight. Hello, thank you. Please tell us more about your project. Le, le, le projet est un, un projet de, de ferme municipale qui, qui approvisionne les, les cantines 100% bio de la ville de Montsartou. Euh, comme dans, nous sommes dans une région très urbanisée, euh, nous avions des difficultés à trouver des légumes bio et, et locaux. Et euh, devant cette absence, on a eu l'idée de, de les produire nous-mêmes. Et nous avons donc engagé euh, trois agriculteurs qui cultivent sur six hectares euh, les légumes que mangent les enfants tous les jours. Wow! And what would you say is the biggest achievement or the most important result of your project? Je crois que l'enseignement le, le plus important, je, je pense que c'est euh, déjà de montrer la, la capacité d'une ville euh, de trouver les moyens de répondre à son objectif quand il euh, n'y ben, euh, avait pas de réponse possible. L'inventivité qu'on qu a eue a montré qu'on pouvait relever des défis et en cette période de Covid, où on a montré que l'enjeu de la relocalisation de la production alimentaire était importante, on, on a pu montrer que les villes étaient une ressource et pouvaient relever des défis aussi importants que celui de, de produire elles-mêmes de l'alimentation. Wow Imagine all those potatoes And what would those potatoes be for That's it for tonight. Thank you for joining us here, and we'll see you next time on Sox Talk Politics. And remember, eat healthy and stay on your toes. They're walking, they're gliding. They're talking, 